Hey y'all, it's me, Jocasta Lester. I just heard something really strange in my spirit and I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you. I heard that Beyonce, yes, the singer, Beyonce uh, takes children home and tortures them. I heard that Jay-Z does not want his wife and that he actually wants Rihanna. I heard this in my spirit. And yes, it was stated as a matter of fact. And I also was told that Tobias may have been one of their victims in his voice in my spirit. So I'm not quite sure. It wasn't in this time, but this one just talked about Beyonce specifically and Rihanna and how they torture babies and how they take them home and torture them. This works hand in hand with the nightmare that I had. I remember being, um, I was on Azalea Avenue in Portsmouth. Um, that's where I was living. And... While I was living there, I had this nightmare. There was Beyonce sitting on what was apparently the back seat of a car, okay? And she was just looking like herself, um, not naked, but, you know, like wearing like a teenage girl's outfit. And um, someone was looking up at her from what was the floor. This person was on the floor and it felt like I was in their heart, like, like their heart was mine. Okay. And I felt this person's heart harden as they looked up at this person, Beyonce on what was apparently the back seat. Now I've heard, um, or rather piece together things about marinas and such, um, that they do these things on boats. They do these things offshore. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with extradition. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with I'm um, getting caught by the law and being able to defend yourself, being outside, manipulating treaties and such. So have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But I heard that Beyonce tortures babies as well as Rihanna. I've heard it. And basically all this stuff, this is another thing that I pieced together from it. This right here. I believe that all of this stuff where they're taken down Diddy is to avoid being detected for other things that others have done so that we're distracted by Diddy being taken down. But really, there are other celebrities that are involved and have done things in places where people didn't know so that when they go to, um, you know, secluded areas, rural towns and things unnoticed, undetected, it's because they've been allowed to do so for so long. So have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There are people that are more than willing to carry out these executions and tortures for them and to cover them up because they're celebrities. And in some ways they feel substantiated by these people against God's people. So it's like the celebrities are their ringers against God's own. Whatever the things are that, that somebody that knows the Lord can do, they use a celebrity. They prop those celebrities up to go against them as the people. So that's what I've learned in my spirit. So have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I've heard that they play a game of Babylon. They will name someone Babylon and hunt them to the end of their lives and rape and torture. And that basically, you know, people end up in addicts and things. So thank you for watching my video. I don't wish to misrepresent myself or anyone in this video. And I'm hoping that everything I said was accurate. Sometimes I get a little fuzzy, but... As it stands, I've heard that Beyonce tortures children and that Rihanna does too. And yeah, there's that and that Beyonce takes them home and tortures them. So you guys take care. I don't want to defame anyone. This is something I heard in my spirit. Oh, and that Beyonce's husband does not want her and that he wants Rihanna. So have a blessed and marvelous day.